guys, it's me back with another video. As you probably can tell, I had dyed my hair black and I used texture and tones in silk and black. This is formulated for people of color and I really like this here. Okay, so I left that on for about an hour and 15 minutes. And then I rinsed it until the water was completely clear and I shampooed with my silicone mix Hydrante shampoo. So I shampooed with that twice and then after I rinsed that out I used my Rude Porosity Control. Now this is very important you guys. The pH on here is a 4.5 which is the same as our own hair. Our own hair is a 4.5 and when you add water to your hair it neutralizes your hair which water is at a 7 on a pH balance scale. Um, so you want to use something that's going to bring your hair back to a pH of 4.5. So this is a corrective conditioner and this right here you're supposed to use this before you do any color treatment or after you do a color treatment so that's why I use this today and this is uniform it gives you more uniform color so your color is more vibrant so that is a tip if you guys are coloring your hair this is definitely something that will make your color more vibrant also this is it gives you better perm and relaxed results and leaves hair natural looking this really helps detangle your hair instantly if you need something that's going to help you detangle it so this is definitely a plus for me. After, you know, I had that in and it says to leave that in for 30 seconds, I actually put my Suave Coconut Conditioner over top of that because this Porosity Control Conditioner is like a boost of moisture. If you're, if you're having a hard time retaining moisture in your hair, try the Rude Porosity Control. I promise you, you will not be disappointed, okay? So I tried this over top of it and that was great for a slip as far as detangling my hair in the shower. After I rinsed that out, I um, deep conditioned with the Pantene Relax and Natural for Women of Color Intensive Moisturizing Conditioner. Now this came with the color, the Texture and Tones by Clairol. This came in the box and I love this conditioner. So after I left that in for about 45 minutes or an hour, I rinsed that out. I didn't go under the dryer with my deep conditioner. I just put a plastic cap on and sat in my room with that. After I rinsed that out, I towel dry my hair. And what I'm doing right now in sections is I'm adding the silicone mix leave-in. And I know I'm probably going to have people say, don't use that product. It has silicones. But since I'm going to be flat ironing my hair today, I, I want to use something that is going to help protect my hair from the heat. So I do recommend, you know, using something with silicone if you're going to be using heat. And actually this makes your hair very shiny. It gives it like a smooth feel. So I love the Dominican products, the silicone mix. What I did was I pumped a dime size amount of the Seydu Pure Argan Oil. This is an anti-frizz polishing treatment and it came in this box here. This argan oil helps to give your hair a lot of shine. This also has a heat protectant in it so your hair will be extra protected from blow drying or flat iron. So I'm really loving how this feels when it goes onto my hair. This is my first time using this and um, I found a new technique to blow drying my hair. You guys, if you watch my videos, I always use my Select Pro Gold 1875 Watt Blow Dryer. And I blow dry it on medium. Um, okay. Instead of having a comb attachment, I have the brush attachment. This is pretty hard, but it has some bend to it. But it's not like hard to the point where it will be ripping all your hair up. But I actually love how, you know, look how my hair looks. This is with the anti-frizz to do treatment and the blow dry. Look at my hair. It's super, super soft. Okay? So I just wanted to show you guys that I'm going to now blow dry this section here. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is take some of my leave-in silicone mix, about a dime size for each quarter section, onto my hair. And I'm going to comb that through. After I comb that through, I'm going to take a dime size amount of the Seydu anti frizz. About this much. And I'm going to rub that through my hair as well. Okay. And I'm going to take a small section. We're going to do this in four sections in each quad. What I do is put my blow dryer on medium. Okay, so when I blow dry, I pull my hair with just a little bit of tension so that the new growth is stretched and I'll be able to get my hair, you know, straight. There's still some texture in there, but yeah, it's pretty good. So I'm just going to do this into four sections. Detangle. Okay, so I'm finished blow drying this side. This is that side. Compared to this stringy side here. Looks funny, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is pump another dime size amount for this whole half of my section because I want to make sure my hair is extra protected for when I flat iron. So I'm just going to rub that through. Give me some shine. This is very smooth. My cheese silk infusion may have some competition. Competition on the serum. Okay, so I'm going to take my brush that I brought from my beauty supply store for $1.99 and I'm just going to brush that through still has some texture in here still some texture but it's pretty straight for the most part so I'm going to go ahead and finish blow drying the other side and I'll be back so stay tuned. I want to show you guys my curl pattern before I start blow drying. I don't know if you guys can see this but okay, this is my hair. Get closer. This is my hair. Okay, so I'm back with my hair fully blow dried. There's still texture up in this area here, but that's okay because the flat iron is going to get that. This is the body of my hair.
um, from the back. Okay, you guys, I had some terrible knots in the crown of my hair. Like the thickest part of my hair gets the most knots as I'm transitioning. I didn't cut them out. I tried to separate it and, you know, some hair came out. Whatever. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't going to flat iron my hair, but I came to the realization that I'm not afraid of heat. I feel as though this is my hair journey. This is my hair. And if I want to flat iron it, I am going to flat iron it. 